Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast. Today we're going to take a look at an app called I Want. Just as it sounds, I Want. Basically what this app does is once you open it, you get these icons right here. Now, first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you if it's okay if it locates your uh, coordinates, which you can hit okay. And um, these are basically different categories. Restaurants, bars, cafes, shopping, pharmacies, stuff like that. Um, if you go into the settings here, you can set a search radius. If you are in a bigger city, it's probably okay to lower the search radius, but if you're in a small city or moderately sized city like me, you probably will want to set um, that higher. You can also go and uh, set the restaurant cuisine filter to narrow down, I mean if you add a lot of stuff in your area, you can narrow it down to a specific type of food. Um, you can also choose sort by rating or sort by distance. Um, and it pulls the ratings in uh, from Yelp.com. So anyhow, I can go in and hit restaurants and it's going to use my location and it's going to bring back the uh, restaurants that are closest to me rated by rating listed by rating so we've got five stars you know going all the way down here to four stars and we've got you know stuff that's nearby within 15 mile radius all of this uh, there's there's a couple that would be a, maybe a little too far for me to drive you know just to get some food but for the most part all of these are pretty close to me um, so I can actually click on one of them and it brings up the Yelp profile for it and gives me some reviews which is kinda nice I can read some of these reviews um, and get the address a map phone number all that stuff and then of course if you're using an iPhone download the Yelp app which I do have and uh, have done a review on Yelp already if you haven't seen the Yelp um, iPhone app review go check it out it's in the podcast so we can go into bars here and it's gonna load up um, you know bars in the area um, we could look at clothing stores and we've got clothing stores so it's it's a pretty good app it helps you find stuff that's nearby you which is cool and it's by category I mean there are a lot of other apps that are doing similar things like this but this breaks it down makes it nice categories um, easy to navigate I mean if you were driving around town um, trying to find something you could easily pull over of course because we want to be safe for a second and find what you're looking for or find hand your phone to your passenger and um, I think the movie here the movie search is really cool it actually gives you the list of the movies and then gives you all of the times in all of the theaters nearby you um, which I think is awesome and then if you click on it further it gives you a map um, and whatever information it has to that location um, so it's a good app I mean this is this is really good I, I like this app from what I've experienced so far um, I mean what more could you ask for the only thing that I th think would be a little bit better is if um, there was a search some sort of search functionality you've got this button down here which will actually allow you to uh, find yourself or reposition the map you can actually you know go in and reposition everything um, so that you can search from a different location than where you're actually at so that's kinda nice too um, but overall I mean this is this is a good application I have zero complaints about this uh, other than um, it's kinda certain things are different you know we've got the motel here now different page so we've got Yelp restaurant reviews which is cool because we've got that but we've got Yelp completely here we don't have um, I mean if we click map it's going to open up a map but it's not I, I think that this interface 
the Yelp interface here could be a little cleaner, but overall I think it's I think it's a, a good app. I, I'm not gonna sit here and nitpick it. Um, for a free app, uh, it's great. I mean, go into the iTunes Music Store and do a search for I Want, or if you're at the iPhone app podcast dot com website you can just click on the uh, app store link um, underneath this video and it will load it up for you and you could try it out and if you don't like it delete it it's free so but if you try it out and you do like it or you don't like it whatever the outcome is come back to the iphone app podcast dot com which is this website right here and post your own comments and your own thoughts about this app and how you were able to uh, test it out and, and make it work for you or maybe how it didn't work for you so your feedback would be greatly appreciated so anyhow that's gonna do it for today's review this is Jared and you're watching the iPhone app podcast take care <laughs>